Transport. Transport has been around for years. In the olden days, they used horse and cart to take stuff by the rag and bone men before they manufacture cars. Transport comes in all shapes and sizes. Somebody has to design it before they get it manufactured and, bef and, and you see the end result. We use transport every day in our lives to get to and from A and B for enjoyment and work as well. You have lists of underground stations to take you to the different underground lines or, or the way out exit. The farmers have their tractors to harvest their crops. We have network rail trains to take us to Scotland and long time ago the trains used to run on steam. We have aeroplanes to take us to the other side of the world and cruise ships to take you to different countries. It is good to have transport as we as we can't live without as as we can't live our lives without it. It is part of it is part of our life. You can have like helicopters to take people to the oil rigs. You can take you can have ships that goes with cars goes on the ships to take you to Ireland. You can have all different sorts of transport. There was like a penny farthing bicycle, a very old fashioned bicycle before they invented the bicycles we have today. They have them with scooters. They have like mobility scooters for old people like a, like they're like electronic wheelchairs. They're still transport to get people around. So transport is a good thing. We should respect it and and treat it like well how you how you treat your house. The underground maybe should have more air conditioning because when it goes under when it goes under um, underground there's no air conditioning and it and it is a um and it is very well it's not very good because you can't breathe if people have asthma so you have to be careful and especially when it's hot weather you need to have bottles of water because it's enough for um, part of it. So, and the overground trains are good because that is why the underground trains should be like all open plan like the new overground trains that go from Shepherd's Bush to whatever. And the same with the district lines. They should make all the trains easier for people and also provide a, a ramp for people in wheelchairs, for people in wheelchairs to um, to get on board the to get to get on board the train because with buses they have ramps sort of installed on the bus so show, so somebody should invent a ramp that can be stored underneath the train as well so when when they see a person with a wheelchair come on then at least um, they know. They need to get the ramp out because otherwise there is no ramp. And and sometimes it's even hard on the network rail trains with people in wheelchairs too. They should provide a ramp and make sure it's secure so they can put the wheelchairs in because, because, because it doesn't matter. Everybody in the world, whether you have a disability or not, we're all human beings and we should be treated with respect. And like the transport should be treated with respect. And, all, and also say like, if the bus is on diversion, they should say this bus is on diversion to say where it's going. And the same if the trains and underground are on diversion as well. At least then we get a uh, better pitch because everybody doesn't understand if the driver of the bus don't say it's on diversion. Cause they, get, they get on it to go their normal route and all of a sudden it's changed. So no, it needs to be... It needs to be proper, well organised. If there is a diversion, to sort of let you know when you get on the bus, not when it says this bus is ready to depart when talking lady comes on. 
or whatever she is. It should be done already when you board the bus. Are we going the right route? Or if we're not going the right route, does it still join the normal route? Because not everybody understands when buses go on diversions. Underground trains go on diversion as well. For some reasons, there's always signal failure or, or whatever. Or you're stuck in a red signal and you have to wait there because there's a train in front of you. You can't park at the platform. You have to wait till that other train has moved on. So, it is a good thing to have transport. Whoever invented it was good, because we need transport. It is good, because we even have escalators to take us up for, from the platform to the way out. But if they don't work, you've got to climb the stairs and it takes ages. So, the underground needs to be a bit more updated. The end.